Perfectly. All right. Smashed it. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Adore Beauty YouTube channel. My name is Megan, hopefully you know me by now because I've been on a bazillion videos. But today I am also joined by the amazing Rushi. Hey guys, my name is Rushi and I am here to try out four popular foundations from Makeup Forever. So I really love uh, a lot of the products that we're talking about today and I've also got quite a lot of experience with them because I stock a lot of these in my own personal makeup kit. But Rushi, I know that you haven't tried heaps of them. I haven't. This is going to be a first impressions for me for a few of these. So we'll be running through them all but Rushi is going to be showing you on her amazing skin what they look like. So I was actually a bit of a nerd um, yesterday, Rushi, because I was like, when did Makeup Forever even start? So they've actually been around for over 30 years. Really? Wow. Like, have they actually? When was 1984? 1984, yeah. 84, 95, 2000. Yeah, over 30 years. Wow. So they were founded by a makeup artist who never intended to be a makeup artist. So her name is Danny Sands or Danny Sands. I'm not... 100% sure how to pronounce her name. She was basically an artist. She was painting one day and someone asked her if she could help out with some makeup. And she was like, no way, I'm an artist. I'm not into makeup. Anyway, she ended up getting roped into it. And when she saw her creation on stage on the beautiful performer's face, she fell in love with makeup. She didn't have the products that she needed to be able to create these beautiful artistic um, pieces on the performer's bodies. And that is how Makeup Forever came about. So I'm basically a historian great. now um, <laughs> in makeup brands only. My kind of history. So all of the foundations that you're going to be hearing about today are retail for $67. They are a, I would say like more of a mid to high end yeah. makeup line. Yeah. Um, but with saying that, what you're paying for is absolute quality. So to me, it's worth it. All right, Rushi. So Let's I think this. the first we'll talk about is the kind of hybrid duo. Yep. Um, and that is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, Liquid Foundation and Foundation Stick. These were pretty much formulated to look like your natural skin, both to the naked eye as well as HD cameras. So if you're going to a special event or you know that you're going to be photographed, this is a really good option. I would say that the coverage is buildable. You could get this to from a sheer foundation to a full coverage glam. It's designed to look like skin and enhanced skin. If you're applying it with like a buffing brush, it'll probably come out as like a medium coverage. Yeah. Um, if you're stippling on, then you're probably going to get more of a full coverage. But if you're applying it with like a damp beauty sponge and you're applying a really light layer, then you could also get a light coverage. So whilst these are really similar, I would say that the stick is slightly less malleable because it is more of like a cream consistency. I would say that this is really great to pop in your makeup bag. It's really uh, travel friendly. This is really great if you want to spot conceal because it does have um, that slightly thicker consistency. Yes. That's that's kind of the difference between those the two. two. Yeah. yeah, they're a great yeah. double act though, I would say. In the Ultra HD range, they have 45 shades of the liquid foundation. Wow. And they have 20 shades in the stick foundation. So not as many in the stick foundation, but it's still a really nice offering. I will start with the Ultra HD liquid. I'm gonna probably start with a brush. That's the new Spectrum collection as well that we just got in and I'm loving this buffing brush. Yeah, the color scheme. I actually always apply foundation directly from the hand and then I just buff it in so we're gonna see how this applies oh that looks so nice such a satin it is finish, isn't it, it yeah just looks so pretty I would definitely say that if you've got oily skin um, you might need to powder this slightly wherever you get more oily um, and if you have dry skin I would say just make sure that you pop a really hydrating primer underneath I'm gonna use the stick foundation now to spot conceal and show you how it covers so I'll just swirl a little bit onto the brush and I'll just pat that in and it covers really well and you can sort of just drag that out as well just to blend it in with the rest of the skin. So you can use that as an all over foundation as well, but the finish is quite similar to the liquid formulation. So we thought we'd just show you how it can double as a concealer. Flawless. So I'm using the shade Y445 in the stick foundation and then I'm going in with the shade Y463 in the liquid. Oh! <laughs> So the next foundation that we're going to talk about is Makeup Forever Reboot. So this foundation basically aims to give you a real radiance to the skin. So if you've been feeling a bit dull, then this is your guy. Should I use a sponge or a brush for this one? What do you think? Um, You actually could use a sponge for this one because it is 
yeah, it's good because it's got that light to medium finish. I'm gonna do it on this side. Yep. So you can see the difference. How are you liking the coverage? The coverage is really nice. It really binds to the skin and gives you that really beautiful dewy glow. So I can definitely see that on the left side of your face that has got more of like a satin finish. Still has a bit of a glow to it, but it's a lot more satin. And then I can see that the right side of your face is glowing radiant. I feel like for my ultra glam looks that I like to do, I reckon I would opt for the Ultra HD liquid foundation. On the regular day-to-day -day running errands and anything like that, I would go for the reboot. Are we the same person? Because I was literally, Possibly. that is Possibly. my exact same opinion. Yeah. I think what I love about this though is if you wore it, people wouldn't think you're wearing makeup. No. It just almost... It's like you're having a really good skin day. You look so good. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen your skin up close. Like, really? It's, you just have such a nice glow. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, because I feel like we see each other at night At time. events. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Or we can't see each other because we have... <laughs> Rushi and I are both short-sighted. Yeah. We've seen each other at events before and we'll just walk straight past each other. Yeah. Without realising. <laughs> <laughs> so last but most certainly not least we have the makeup forever matte velvet skin so this is amazing for anyone that has oily skin that loves a matte finish and is really looking to diffuse any shininess throughout the day you've taken off the left side of your face yep which was the ultra hd foundation so that we can show you the difference between the reboot on the right side of her face and then the matte velvet on the left side of her face i'm gonna go in with the shade y425 and again, I noticed that the coverage is there straight away. It's probably medium to full, yeah, do you feel? Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty decent coverage. Like I have a bit of uh, hyperpigmentation here. So it definitely did a really good job of covering that without being too fake. Yes. You know, not I too full. It. Beautiful. Ooh, I actually really like the matte on you as well. Do you love? Yes, I actually do love. Like, you can see the difference. Yeah, right, from You look, matte this to... looks airbrushed. I feel like if you had a decent moisturizer underneath, if you're on the drier side, yeah. this would be pretty comfortable to wear. But combination to oily skin, you would love. absolutely love this. Yeah. yeah, is it really lightweight? It's really lightweight. Yeah. feels Amazing. really good. I would definitely say these three... I like the long haul type of, if you've got an event, they're awesome. This is also really great, but because it does have that radiance in it, if you have oilier skin, you might find um, that your oily areas do need a bit of touch up or some powder throughout the day. That's the only drawback. Do you have a favorite? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say my favorite. Pick your favorite child. I'm going to go with the Ultra HD liquid. It's just, it's an yeah. OG. It yeah. works. It's so beautiful on mm. the skin it, it ticks all the boxes really yeah. so as i'm a makeup artist i can't really choose a favorite because i literally have them all in my kit so this is my favorite for combo skins or for anyone that wants a little bit of glow but still wants a mattifying effect through your t-zone um, this is my personal favorite for anyone that has dry skin and this is one that I often wear uh, if I've got like a daytime event. So I still have that nice medium coverage, but I'm still really glowy. This one is for all of my oily skinned gals and guys out there. It has an absolutely beautiful finish as you've just seen on Rushi, but it still is really light on the skin. Let me know which one you guys like the best. Comment below. Thanks so much <laughs> for watching today's video. That pretty much wraps up everything that we wanted to share with you today. Rushi, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for hyping me up. If you want to see more videos from us, click right here and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.